Welcome to Mark's Motors Fortune Farming Channel. This video is the August 2020 channel update. And starting with motorsports, I was able to get down to a tractor pull in northern Iowa and I have started to post videos of that. And if I'm counting right, I'd I have four more to post yet before they're all up. So, yeah, be, be sure to check those out if you haven't already. And then, and then the tractor pull that I was alluding to in the July 2020 update video that was supposed to happen at the end of August here. And I'm getting canceled last week. You know, I heard as of last week, as of last week, that they canceled it. So, and uh, and that's once again linked to coronavirus and the way that Minnesota's governor is handling things, and which I certainly don't agree with how he's been handling it, I mean, he, what I would be doing if, if I was him is, you know, let the outdoor events like that go on, and then just monitor the in, indoor facilities since that's where virus is more, most likely to spread, but I'm not him, he's not me, so. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully this whole restriction thing doesn't linger in the next year is all we can hope for. And then I also did find a race that's going on this weekend that uh, depending on what the weather does, it, Maybe I'll go up to it and get some videos for you guys of that. Uh, yeah, otherwise I'd, I don't really know of anything for September or October. Uh, uh, Poland, I was probably the, the last poll that, that I will have been able to attend this year the way it looks. Uh, I don't know of anything more coming up, and, and then after this weekend, I, I don't know of any more you know, races either. Except that hopefully in December the snowcross snowmobile races will, will be able to start up again and so forth. So, but that, that's a ways off yet. You know, I'm, you know, it's early enough to to where the venues that host those I haven't posted anything about them yet. But, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I know of as far as mo motorsports news. And then farming news. As you can see, the, the fourth crop of hay here is, is, has started to come up, so... You know, hopefully, hopefully there'll be a little more hay out here this time than than there was than what third crop gave me. Obviously, you guys, those of you that saw the bailing video I did, you know, would know that there wasn't a huge amount out here. 
which that does happen from time to time. You know, where where it'll be short, but but yet there's no further growth. And then we got between one and three quarter and two inches of rain earlier this this week. And then sound sounds like another chance tomorrow. Um, with today being August 11th, so that would be the 12th. You know, we'll have to see what happens there, and that's that could end up impacting the races this weekend too. You know, I might have to cancel them or postpone them or something. You know, there there have been times where. It, I guess not 100% sure about races, but I don't. I know tractor pulls and some other things have have had to get called off because of too much rain already. So but now back to farming. Uh, this is one of two fields I that I see last spring and. Last last year, 2019, was so ungodly wet, and then those of you that have been following the channel long enough know that we were into the month of October before I was able to get it harvested, and then between now and between August and and October, you know, all the Weeds that come up a little thicker than than they normally ever would, and had, I was hoping before that by, by taking a crop of hay off the two pieces would would allow you know what what I seeded to to come up better, but that didn't work. It's still a fairly high percentage of weeds so so I'm, what I'll probably end up doing is just I'll take one more crop off the two pieces and then maybe let some regrowth happen and then plow it up and start over next year and hopefully next year ends up being being a drier year like 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 this like this spring was where, where you can actually get stuff seeded and and then get stuff harvested when when you're supposed to for that matter. Um, so yeah, they, this field that, that I'm showing you and and then one other one are, are going to be new seeding fields once again next year. And then the spring wheat is mature but, but there again we're we're kind of waiting for, for the grain to dry down to where it can be harvested and then once I am able to harvest that wheat then I will be bringing new videos of that as well. And, uh, the, the rain we dealt with this week is, has not helped that cause. So there too, just get past tomorrow night and hopefully it's not a lot because I mean Prior to this week, I mean, thing, things were, you know, drying up more and more, and I would say, you know, it was 
nice for making hay because I was able to get into some places that I haven't been able to get into for, for at least the past two summers. And as long as I'm back here I can show you one of them. And then I, I featured another one of the places in three different videos cutting the last first crop of 2020 or first crop grass of 2020 you know I did a cutting raking and, and baling video there so yeah if you haven't seen the seen any of the hay videos yet and be sure to go back and check them out. And the third crop on the field that I'm walking across now was, was the last three videos I did on that. But but then the three videos prior to that would, would have been the last first crop grass of 2020. Yeah, the the farm that I was at when where I where I made those three videos was really the the only of the last first crop grass where it was you know suitable for me to run this camera and and still do the work. So yeah, and as you can see here, this is a fairly small area but yet I don't know how many years it's been for sure since since I've been able to come come in here with with equipment and get hay cut but as you can tell I, I was able to and and the second crop is coming up so Cut over there, and a few trees that we have that we have to clean up, and because years past, before those trees blew down, I was able to, you know, just drive around in a circle here and cut the whole works out. But pretty sure these trees have rotted from sitting as long as they have. So it's just a matter of cutting them off and probably just haul them out of here and not try to make firewood out of those chunks because like I said they've been sitting that long but I mean I don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's you know squishing squishing water out you know when I walk across here just from the amount of rain we've had and Which for that matter it was probably good to have that I cut this when I did. Because in certain places there's, there's water standing again. And being being I was able to get this cut before it happened again, and there's still a good chance of sunshine evaporating uh, most of this water back out of the ground and to where, to where once the grass gets tall enough for, to get in our crop then I might be able to. And the, the farm I was at for the 
last first crop grass of 2020. I'll only be able to get one more crop out of there as well, just because, you know, it's, it was still late enough. When I got that first crop out to where there isn't enough growing time to get two more measurable crops out of there. You know, I, I mean, it was, I mean, it's, it was still early enough to, to where I'm able to get a second crop, but, but yeah, it's, but yeah, it, I ended up, it ended up being too late when I got back there to, to be able to get a third. So the, my guess would be that this fuel I'm walking on here would, would be the next hay video that you see you know, when I'm able to get the fourth crop done. If it's continued growth to where I'm able to cut it again. I mean, that, that was one, one of the reasons for taking the third crop off when I did, but which, in which the rain we got earlier in the week should help with that, but, but right now I don't think there's even quite as much growth as there was when I cut the third, so. Yeah, hopefully it keeps coming, and, and I'm, then I'll be able to get a fourth crop out of here. And then, like I said earlier, that that field there, and then there's one other one where I'll just cut one more time, and then and turn it black. You know, and hopefully there's a little regrowth so uh, about all I have for you this time I, I can think of at least except that what uh, you know the only thing I, I can think of to mention is that When, when I filmed the first of the tractor pull classes last weekend, uh, there were two different two different days where I was able to get down there and film. And the first day I went through two batteries and. In this camera be before it was done so luckily I had my other camera with that, that I've been using in the baling videos to show you guys the bales coming out of the baler but the only thing is there is that at the time I didn't know if there was a zoom feature on that camera which you know so that that's why you'll see the the type of video that that you do you know, yeah then it'll be the end of the diesel truck and two-wheel drive truck class you know it's where the focus isn't quite as close because I didn't know if I could zoom like I can with this camera and then the two-wheel drive truck class had a pull-off, you know, that the two-wheel drive trucks did. And there too, I ended up filming all that with, with it too, and, and I didn't know, 
at the time if, if there was a zoom feature or not. I pretty much assumed that there was not, so then I just got as close to the track as I could and filmed it. Whereas since then I found that there is a zoom feature. And then, uh, as nice as this core may, may look right now, we'll be on the farming for just a little bit, I should say. <laughs> as nice as this corn may look right now, there really isn't much to speak of just yet as far as kernels, but looks like the rain might have already started to help it a little bit. Yeah, that looks better than what I've seen the last few times I looked. So, so that, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Bringing up to speed where things are at. Yeah, wheat harvest is coming uh, on the farming side, you know, so I'll get videos to you when I do, and then I may possibly be able to make it, make it to a race this weekend, and if I do, I'll film that too. So with that, I thank you guys for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate that. Be sure to click on the like button, and if you haven't already, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And then, once you subscribe, once you've subscribed, then be sure to click on the bell, and then you'll get notified whenever I post a new video.